Hello and welcome to another update video about HBAR. So the HBAR chart shows an unchanged picture, an unchanged situation. We still have a possible five wave move to the upside from last year's June lows. I have to say the chart, <clears throat> the chart looks very, very similar to ADAR's chart. We also have a five wave move up, which looks very choppy, overlapping from the June lows last year. It's at best a diagonal, okay? That's what I'm leaning to. Pullbacks after a diagonal pattern completed, in this case, I've labeled it as an A wave. I mean, it could technically be a wave one in a leading, it doesn't matter. If it's an A wave or a wave one, it just means it's a diagonal. Um, the overall bigger picture suggests actually an A wave rather, but it's not so important right now. The support area for both is the same. The only the thing is that a B wave can more easily go a little bit lower than, for example, a wave two, okay? Um, very painful to watch though. Even this move up was very painful to watch. It is, a, it is a five wave move, but it wasn't really the hype move that you would normally expect from a crypto bull run. Um, but ideally that starts in the next wave up, right? So ideally in what would be the C wave to the upside or the third wave to the upside, that should be the FOMO wave that really derives prices higher. The support region is defined between 5.2 cents and 8.7 cents. So that's the support region. And uh, this support region is relevant for both the wave two or B scenario. I mean, I haven't listed actually a one, two setup here on the chart separately, but um, again, it doesn't matter so much. The support area is the same. First of all, we need to be concerned with this pullback and to, to understand if the support area holds. Do the bulls turn up before the price breaks below 5.2 cents? That's really what matters. And I often say that a B wave pullback or a wave two pullback ends in the region of, not exactly necessarily, but in the region of a previous wave four of one lesser degree that is at 6.8 cents. It's here. Yeah. So basically the price already dipped into that region. We also have enough waves to the downside to consider it complete, but it suggests possibly one more low, okay? There are different ways how this could be counted, this structure, but it's possible that we get one more low. Um, I can even even label it as WXY uh, or an ABC where actually the wave one then did sit here because then it would be a diagonal pattern. Both are valid interpretations. What is more important to me really, and to be honest, I could, if this is a diagonal, I would even have to add the golden ratio level as resistance, but what I want to see really is a five wave rally that goes above resistance. As long as it's only a corrective rally, it doesn't really give me a warm feeling about we've bottomed. So I need to see five waves above resistance. Initial resistance is now 9.8 cents, 9.6. And then a break above the next high would be good evidence that a low has occurred and formed. And that would be a break above the 11.1 cent level, or let's call it the 11 cent level. Needs to be a break above that level, uh, basically the last significant swing high, okay? Until then, if we zoom in and go to the one hour chart, I mean, you can possibly, you can see um, that this here looks more like a three wave rally. So I can easily count that as a WXY, WXY in a wave four, possibly if it's a wave four, looks also a bit like five waves down. So yeah, I cannot, again, I did say that in quite a few altcoin videos earlier today, and they're all moving together on the, on the micro level at the moment, but this could be an, a WXY and then ABC and W, okay, X wave and ABC. Um, some people might say, oh, but this looks like five waves. I don't see five, clearly not. Also the proportions aren't right. What is often the case is that a wave Y um, has this, the same length or nearly the same length as the wave W though. That was not the case here. Okay, so what I cannot rule out is, for example, that this Y wave extends a bit higher and we're doing, I don't know, doing doing this something, um, W, X, Y, but we'll see. I mean, at the moment, it also, as I said, it looks a bit like a five wave move down. One, two, three, four, five. So this could be a wave one to the downside of the fifth wave down. Then we could get a wave two bounce now, one down, two up. So one, two, three, four, five. That's also sort of what I'm watching currently um, 
possibly unfold on the Bitcoin chart. I'm not adding that, that on the chart, it's just too small to really be reliable. But bottom line is, especially as long as we are below yesterday's high, which formed here at 8.8 .8 cents, further downside seems to be uh, yeah, expected. And if we break below the Sunday low, which formed here at 7.6 cents, this should open the trap door for lower prices, possibly reaching 6.4 cents, possibly even 5.2, which is that 78.6 retracement. But really the bulls need to turn up before the 5.2 cent level breaks. If they don't, then new bear market lows are very, very likely. And the overall bullish thesis on the chart and the entire rally that formed since June last year, well, that has to be, well, the rally is done and then um, the bullish thesis needs to be revised. That's my update about HBAR. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.